In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove unwanted audio from in between live snare drum hits. Typically, you could reach for a gate that always works great, but if you're going to be using Melodyne in your editing workflow anyway, it's nice to know certain techniques like this so you can have them to choose if you want. It's really easy and powerful. Let's take a listen. I'm going to choose my snare drum track here and you see it populates itself in the editing window. Now you can see that there are separators between every distinct sound and beat here. Let's take a listen to this. Now, if you wanted to remove all that in between the snare drum hits, first of all, why? Well, perhaps you wanted to remove all that and extract just the snare hits if you wanted to do some redrumming later on. This is a great technique to do that. I'll show you what I mean. First thing we're going to do is just select some samples of the unwanted audio from different regions. I'm going to hold my command key on my Mac and this works perfectly on Windows as well, and just choose a couple of different sample regions. This one's got two hits, this one's got three hi-hats, this one's got a splash cymbal. It doesn't hurt. You're just giving Melodyne more energy from which to do its analysis from. Now with those selected in mind, I'm gonna come up to edit and under select special, choose select same beat in all bars. And see what happens? Everything is selected but the snare drums that I want. Now simply hit delete on my keyboard, and there you go, cleaned up beautifully. And as you can see, it selected them all down the line. Next, here's an alternate method that also works great. It's really easy. You do the same process, select a couple of snare drum hits, and this will give Melodyne some information to look for similar sounding hits throughout the entire take. Again, come up to edit, select special, and choose the same option. Select same beats in all bars. Next, go back to edit, and under select special, choose invert note selection. And everything but those snare hits are now selected. Simply hit delete, and there you go. Cleaned up beautifully. Now, as I said before, this is wonderful if you want to export this as MIDI, you can come up to File, and here under Export, now we can choose it as a tempo map or just a straight MIDI file. It always does help to save your work as you're going along. Let me reiterate that. It's important, and it's really easy. File, Save, or Save As. You can see I have this titled Untitled right now because of the demonstration. But before you do anything like this, Melodyne never destroys the original copy of your audio. So you can save different stages of your Melodyne editing work as you go along. And again, this is really handy for when you want to do some re-drumming. Now let me undo my selections and let me show you a little handy tip. If Melodyne's not giving you all the separations you're looking for, you can go in there and choose the note separation tool and create them yourself. You can put a separation anywhere you want, just like that. And by double clicking any separation, you can, you can remove them also. Another handy way to do that is to come up to the wrench icon here select it, and this is kind of like a global detection. Under the separation tool here from the dropdown, you see, we got the type tool and the starting points. We have this slider. Watch as I increase it. It'll start detecting potential new separations points. And as I increase it globally, it's dividing it up more and more and more. Now, this is important if you want to just select, see if you can select something right about there. Let's see, right about there. And now it looks just about right. And to commit these separations, choose the orange icon here and go back to edit mode. So these are some really handy, easy to use techniques for you to utilize Melodyne more than you may have been typically doing. Again, drum editing is, drum editing is something that everybody does. And when you want to manipulate audio like the way Melodyne can only do, it's nice to know that you have these extra advantages in your workflow in case you want to try them sometime or really dive in and take advantage of them. I call it gating with Melodyne. It's the Melodyne gate technique. Select specific audio, give it some information to work with, and then choose all the similar notes and that beat across the board, and then just delete them. Save your work, 
and you're ready to go. My name's Carlo, and thanks for watching.